Is everybody here? Are you ready for the bear show? Well, good. We better get started then. First of all, on behalf of the Clark family and all of our staff, I would like to welcome you to Clark's Trading Post. This is the home of Clark's Trading Bears and the White Mountain Central Railroad. My name is Murray Clark. I'm the youngest of two who work with the Bears here. Also today, in the ring, you'll see my sister, Maureen Clark. Now with the two of us who work with the Bears, I consider myself to be the most handsome. <laughs> Not quite the reaction I was hoping for, but I'm used to it. Now you're here to see the Bears perform, but before we bring them on to do that, we'd like to give you a little bit of background information to make this educational as well as entertaining. So we'll cover a few facts and figures associated with these beautiful creatures. Now my family started raising bears here back in 1930, and we are New England's oldest family of bear keepers. Our entire experience has been with the North American black bear, Ursus Americanus, the bear of America. This is the year-round lifetime home for our bear, and this ring is a part of that home. They enter willingly to train and perform, and many times when our show is over, they go back home and look at them. We've had such a good time out here in front of the audience. Now uh, this time our bear family numbers eight. We have four on display in these enclosures over the back and an additional four across the street in two separate habitats. More about them in a moment. Now by far the most common question asked of us about the bears is how long do they live? Well the answer comes in two parts. Out here in the woods of New Hampshire we currently have an estimated population of wild bears that approaches 5,000 head and they're on the increase. We'll probably never know how many for sure, though, because every time they hold a census, no one shows up. <laughs> However, they are very common here in the White Mountains. So if you're up here on a visit, driving down back road, you're out there hiking, camping, fishing, you may see a wild bear. And if you do, please stay away from them. Don't get close. Do not feed them. And most of all, don't offer up a family member to have a picture taken with a nice bear. It ends badly for all those involved. Now currently, the Fish and Game Department tells us the average life expectancy for a bear out there is not very long. Somewhere in the neighborhood of four to six years. Perhaps a bit longer if they're lucky. I certainly hope so. Hunting season takes its toll. Mother Nature is very hard on her creatures out there. I can tell you this. Our bears live much longer. They have a guaranteed living, a balanced diet, and we protect them. They're our personal property, our pets. We extend their lives greatly over that of their wild cousins. The oldest one we have at present we won't see today. She's across the street in special quarters. She's living in a retirement community. She's over there in peace and quiet and shade. She has two houses to choose from, her own private swimming pool, two meals a day, She's collecting social insecurity, <laughs> Medicare, and the meager interest they pay on her personal savings account. I'm speaking of a bear we've had here for many years. Her name is Moxie. She was abandoned by her mother in the woods of Vermont when she was a sickly little bear cub. And thanks in part to the Vermont and New Hampshire Fish and Game Department, we were able to take her in, rescue her, if you will. We nursed her back to health in the kitchen of our home across the way. And I remember as a teenager, little Moxie running around our kitchen getting into mystery. Down come the curtains, off comes the tablecloth. All the soft furniture gets chewed up and the house is in disarray. We would ball and feed her and then at night sleep with her on the couch to keep her safe and warm. Then in the morning, she'd get into my old G.I. Joe collection and chew their heads off. <laughs> Today, Moxie is 29 years of age. And that's not a record. The old blind best we've ever done raising a little cubby bear in old age, he has laid the rest of the flower garden right over there. And yes, there are bears buried over here. Some of our finest show bears in history. The one I'm speaking of, we call them old fellas. We live with us here 38 years, seven months. And we believe that's an all-time record for the North American black bear. How many people are curious, what do we feed the bears? Well, I want to reassure you that diet is healthy. It does not consist of popcorn, candy, soft drinks, and junk food. If it did, it would be much cheaper for us to take care of it. Actually, the main diet starts with dog chow. We augment that with quantities of fruit and vegetables, cod liver oil, and some other vitamins and minerals that attest to their health and long life here with us. 
Out in the woods is a different story. They're creatures of opportunity, so they start from the ground and they work up. They'll eat insects, grass, clover, sweet wild berries in the season. They can catch, kill, and eat small woodland creatures, chipmunks, squirrels, frogs, mice, and the like. This bear is omnivorous, like you and I, he can live on meat and flesh as well as vegetation. And in the fall, he climbs into trees, looking for peach nuts, butternuts, acorns, and also apples. We feed our bears large quantities of apples in the fall to help back them up for the coming winter. And on occasion, we've seen one of our bigger male bears eat a bushel of apples in 20 minutes. A bushel is 30 pounds. One male bear, 20 minutes. When he's done, He's full of applesauce. And he incidentally has become a walking cider press. <laughs> now those are just a very few of the bear facts. The bear show started here in 1949, the year my father Murray and my uncle Ed decided they would teach and train little cubby bears to show work. Sadly, both my uncle and my father have since passed away. So now my sister Maureen and I carry on with the show as best we can. Now before we start two more little things, right here I've got a Tula Teddy Bear that needs a new home. During this show, we're going to give it away to one of you folks. Here's how it's done. You need your general admission ticket, a rectangular piece of paper about so long. Everybody got one on the way into the railroad station. On the bottom are numbers. The numbers determine the winner. So if you could have the tickets out and ready to go, it makes it faster to find you. Also, I've got one of these beautiful little paintings, and this was done by Victoria, one of our prize showgirls. Just like Grandma Moses, she started her painting career rather late in life. She is in what I would call her impressionist mode. These are unique and available for sale over here at the photo pile floor in the Bay Area Shop building. If you want one of the kind, limited edition, and serial number souvenir, perhaps for that animal lover back home, this is it. Now, without further ado, we're going to bring out our first performer. I want to thank you all for listening so quietly and patiently. Let's bring Echo out to start the show. Come, sweetheart. They want to get to the fun part. And here she comes. Soaking wet to help keep her cool. This is Echo, our friend. She is 11 years of age, full grown. Not born here, she comes from Farmington, Pennsylvania. Her current status, not married. Now she's gonna wander in and look everything over. She wants to make sure that OSHA would approve. I neglected to tell you this, we are in what we call the marriage season. And some of the bears have other things besides bear shows on their minds. It is a very difficult time of the year to put on a good show. So the be is wandering. We're going to do our best, though. Sweetheart, let's start the show properly. Ah, Nicely done. Echo is our most patriotic bear. And after she raises up old glory, the next order of business is to check the mail. We always check the bear mail during our show. You never know what you're going to get. Publisher's Clearing House, a new America online disc, maybe even a package from the eBay. Let's see, what did we get today? Oh, look at that. Hooray, the tax bills are in. <laughs> well, sweetheart, I've got one question for you. Did the taxes go up this year? <laughs> oh my. And who said New Hampshire was tax free? Well, she's in position, so I guess it's time for a little bit of refreshment. And you'll notice that Echo drinks from a bear can. You can find these along the edges of the highways here in New Hampshire. Parking lots, back alleyways, wherever the wild bears drop them, I guess. <laughs> this is a bear can, and this is a bear belly. <laughs> And you know, she's ticklish. Coochie, coochie, coo. Ticky, ticky, ticky. Ma, no wonder she's ticklish. Would you look at that? She's barefoot. <laughs> Ain't that something? And after she's done drinking the contents of the can, she will not drop it down on the ground and walk off like a people. She has better manners than that. Echo is the first bear in history to recycle. <laughs> <laughs> Going 
Green. Now you head over to the swing chair. It's your turn for a ride. Right up into position. You sit right around. Hold steady. Morning's gonna stem and wind it to start it. Here comes the wind up. Oh, help yourself. <laughs> and there she goes. Oh, she loves to swing. No fear of the motion or the height from the ground. As a matter of fact, that though fits that all bears swing chairs. Back and forth. Nice and easy. Just like her hair color. <laughs> is this thing on? <laughs> All right, sweetheart, it's time to bail out. The ride is over. You're going to ride again, cost another dollar and 25. Very good. You're doing a fine job this show. Now, have any of you ever seen the bear show before? Yes. Yes. All right. Well, this is a new stunt we've been working on. Morning and Echo were practicing up earlier this spring. Echo, we're going to play Echo in the middle. Maureen, I'm open. Oh. You only pulled that one a bear in one. Well, we'll take this back off and hand it to Maureen. We're gonna, oh, no, we're going to play the game again. Let's see. This time, I'm open over here, Maureen. I'm ready. Oh. Yeah. It's pretty hard to play this game. I've never seen it again. I'm making a fashion statement from that brightly colored dress you're wearing. All right. We're going to head over to the scale and wave her in. We always wave them in during the show and try to get an accurate measurement. You can see how big they are. Difficult to tell how much they weigh. You hold this with both hands and don't drop it. Looks like. Hold steady. I want to call that 308 pounds. In her bare skin. I don't know what it is you've been eating to get to be 308. But here. Have some more ice cream. <laughs> It'll be fine. And then I want you to slide up and look beautiful. It won't be hard for you. Oh, she is absolutely gorgeous. However, she is shedding her coat. All of the bears shed during the summer months. The young ones shed early on. Older ones towards the latter part of the summer. And by the full moon of August, they're all done shedding last year's coat. And then the new ones arrive from Barrington Coat Factory. We <laughs> might just climb up into the chair. We'd like to play a little bit of bearskin ball. That's right. Bearskin ball. She's the best player we have. I'm going to hand it off to Maureen. You've been having better luck that way. Could you sit down? Let the young lady, please. Footies out. Both of them. Thank you. All right, Maureen. If you're ready. That's a good catch. Maureen gets the ball back and then you pay a little bit of money. We're going to try it again. How about a bouncer this time? Yes. Here it comes. You pay attention. Very good. She said it's no problem. It's easy street. Now for the tough part. Could you join Maureen over here? We want you to pick that ball up and then you're going to run it right over to that hoop and do a layup. That ought to amaze the audience. You now you've gotten your instructions. Now there's the ball. Are you ready? And she's off. <laughs> <laughs> hey, I said a lay up, not a lay down. You know, you're turning into a bit of a silly pants. What's the matter? Are you up all night last night? Surfing the internet again? Well, she has a blackberry. Oh. And she can twiddle with both claws whenever she updates her space face or whatever they call that thing that's so distracting. Uh, young lady, how about you do a crunch or two? Oh, there we go. And you're right to the hoop. You can do it. Yes, you. Don't worry about those folks over there. We've got a fence up to keep them out. Let's go. Run, run, run. Go, go. Instant replay. Yes, boy, you can do it. You 
We're putting on a show here. You're slightly distracted. Like I said, we are in the midst of the marriage season. <laughs> That's right. Could you, oh, you want to go the other way? Yeah. That's the way it goes. Sometimes you win, sometimes you lose. But we're going to keep on track if we can. All right. All right. Oh, yeah. This is the way it goes. She likes to look the audience over. Pick out the tasty ones. <laughs> Come, young lady, we've got work for you over here. Yes. Oh, it is a tough time of the year, let me tell you. Not just the heat, but with this uh, current trend of hormones, it's very difficult. You jump up on top, or it'll give you a little money. And whatever you do, do not get inside that barrel. Or is that a good idea? I think we should start calling that sunk bear on a barrel. You know, she stays up there the whole show. Balance it right on the rim. You can always count on it going to the Making the show up as she goes along. Yep. Whoops. Oh, we're moving along. <laughs> yes, I didn't read the script last night. Well, where am I now? Oh, yes, is it my turn? <laughs> to hold the ice cream again? Oh boy! Oh, and look at that, she cleaned the spoon off. You good it. What's the matter? You don't like ice cream? Huh? You don't share at home? We have to share. She wants me to have some. Hmm. Where did the bear hair come from? <laughs> well then, I guess I'm gonna head over here with my little bear behind. Come in, come in. I'm gonna eat the rest of this ice cream all by myself because no one seems to want to help me. Oh, if I only had someone to share it with, oh, you'd like to help now. Well, you know what, I changed my mind. I'm gonna head over, maybe I'll just look at the I guess I'm caught in a bear trap. <laughs> Woo! A real live one. I got your fingernails down. You're going to put a run in my stockings. <laughs> you watch that. You're pulling my pants down. And you want to see you bear, not me bear. She's giving me the signal. She wants the garden. Are you ready? <laughs> uh -oh. You know what the best advice my dad gave me about working with the bears was? He said, don't ever put your fingers in a bear's mouth. Like that. <laughs> he said, whatever you do, Marie, you don't even want to try it like that. They might come out like that. But they go back in the winter. Tough crowd. <laughs> Here, you hold this and I get out of the bear trap. And here's another new one for 2014. Earlier in the spring, Echo started practicing the sport of curling. However, it didn't work out so well, so we decided we'd change it up and try hockey. We call it paw hockey. No stick involved. But there is shit, but no stick. You just have to put that puck right in that goal. No goalie. You don't know where the goal is. She is the only player on the team, so she's been calling herself the Bruin. No! <laughs> We're gonna head over in this direction. Get out those general admission tickets I was speaking of earlier because Echo is gonna spin the new and improved wheel of fun and we'll find a new home for that big bear. Sweetheart, give it a whirl. The nicely done, Vanna. Now we are looking for the last four numbers on the ticket. The last four digits. Let's see what we've got today. Looks like number 5404. 5404, are you out there? 5404. Is that you? Going once. Going twice. Doesn't count, we'll spin it again. 
But don't worry, we always give the prize away. The most amount of spins we've ever done was 273. Let's <laughs> see, how about this one? How about 5482? Are you here? 5482. Go on the train. 5482. No takers on that one. Oh, we got one up here, we got one over there somewhere from the original one. All right, we'll give away two. Here's how it's done. After the show, you just bring the winning ticket over here to our lovely helper, Lisa, along with $25 each. We'll <laughs> give you the prize. I'm just kidding. Bring the ticket over the prizes. You're not showing your routine. Oh, isn't she dainty? But don't go away. We'll be coming right back out with our next performer. We just have to set up a couple of things and we shall return in about a thousand hours out here in front of an audience. And that does not necessarily mean you get a show there when you're done. They're all different. But this is how we do it. We use good things to eat, love, patience, and kindness. We do not use weapons of any kind. There are no whips, chains, muscles, prods, none of that jazz. The only thing that we carry is a spoon. All right, Maureen, if you are ready, let's bring Tula out and it should pick up speed. Come, young lady, they want to see you. Oh, here she is, our little friend Tula. Like I said, four years of age. And she, too, drinks a mixture of milk and honey. She doesn't like it, but we make her drink it. This is actually one of the first things we teach them to do, is to hold an object in their hands, be it a baby bottle or a spoon. Actually, for her, it was a baby bottle. Now, come, sweetheart. I'd like you to join me over here. You jump up on top of the drum, put it in gear, slip the clutch, and peel rock. Go like 60. And if no one's watching, do 70. You're riding side saddle. We call this route the Bear Mobile. On a good day, we can get about 13 miles per gallon of ice cream. <laughs> Not too shabby for this neck of the woods. Uh, and in our effort to go green, we've been working on a hybrid. The one that runs on wood or ice cream. That one's still in development. <laughs> Just like that joke. <laughs> now off of that carefully. Now we're going to head it over to the barrel. And we're going to do bear in a barrel. Sweetheart, you jump up on top, then drop down on sight. See no bear at all. Yes, you can do it, soaking wet. Go ahead. Oh, she loves this job. And who could blame her? Gave me mumbleberry ice cream on a hot July morning. Oh, boy, she says. Well, we're all still here. So do we. Now, did you know that every spring we go out June bug picking? I keep them in the freezer for the show. During the hot weather, when you put them in your pocket, they tend to crawl around a little. Kind of hard to catch. Let's see. Got some right here. Sweetheart, would you like a June bug? She loves it. Right on the outside, but soft and chewy on the inside. The little legs tickle all the way down. Oh, here's the giant one I found on the port screen the other night. Ooh. A juicy. For those of you who are horrified, they're actually prunes. And did you know I lost three lips learning how to do that stuff? You don't know how hard it is to get a new set of lips nowadays. Now we'll wave her in. She doesn't hold still on the scale, so it's rather hard to reach. Hold steady fit. 
Well, I'm going to have to call that 248. 248 pounds. Every time you weigh a ring, I suddenly get a headache. Whenever I get a headache during our show, two of the heads went right over to that blue first aid cabinet, and just like Florence Nightingale, she pulls out the bear aspirin. Those other brands just won't do. Now, for the tough part, would you please put that back into the cabinet? That's right. And this time, put it in on the left-hand side, and then close the door to keep the small children out. Uh, uh, the is ready. We're just trying to stand her up, and it is very quick. She's in a hurry. She won't stand for long. Like Holy that. Wow. Try again. One more time. Yay. All right. Not bad. She's in a hurry. You'll notice the white marking in the center of her chest. It's called a blaze. Hers is a distinctive marking. It's in the shape of a butterfly. All right, I will pay you for that. I know you're in a real hurry. No one's trying to get here in time. There you are. Now they're going to head over in that direction, and it's time for Tula's little dancing dance. What's the move, kids? <laughs> She loves to dance. You should see her on Saturday nights. She gets herself all dolled up before she heads to town. She even powders her face with that colored dirt stuff. She calls it bare minerals. That was a good one. I know you're, you're dreaming, but I'd like to play ball. If I could get you back into the chair, could you sit down when you're ready? Give me the hand signal. All right, that means she's ready. Here it comes, kid. Oh, oh, that was my fault. Don't worry, she'll pick it right up. And I'll even pay for that. All right. Here, Catherine, let's try again. My fault. Sorry. No, oh, no, don't get out of the chair. Oh, I see. I dropped some. Yeah, she'll pick it right up. She doesn't mind if it has a few jimmies on it. All right, sweetheart. How about you just run it to the hoop? All right, we're going to go back to the original plan. Wonderful. Are you ready? I know, I messed it up. All right, here comes the bounce. Very good. Okay. I get the ball, you get a taste it. Now would you join me over here? We got to get this ball to the hoop. You recognize someone over there? All you have to do is run it as fast as your little legs will carry you. You hold your head up high. Be proud. Run for us. That's the key. And every time I owe her money, her mouth opens up wide like a baby bird. She likes to show off her rubber teeth and her plastic yeah. fingernails. Yeah. All right, Maureen's going to head that direction. We'll ask you to do a few rollovers. We only let her do about three rollovers at a time because we don't want her to get around. <laughs> Now this little pan was inside her home enclosure, and I can't remember if it had water or food in it, but it was sitting there all by itself. Tula came along, she saw it sitting there, and she made up her own stuff. And that's right, now let's see if we can recreate it. Right about there, oh yeah. <laughs> Oh, I see. I call that big bear in the little pan. Now that's a fairly easy stuff. Uh, she made it up herself, so you capitalize on these things. However, this one was quite a bit more difficult. We worked at this for a very long time. Could you put your hands on, and then you're putting on, and look out the world, here she comes. She's still in driver's head. We've been giving her pointers. Watch out for pedestrians. Here is your turn signal. And no texting and driving. Oh! oh. Hey! You just left the scene of an accident. My goodness! Where did you get a driver's license? What's that? Massachusetts? <laughs> the things they say in the rain. Now you're going to have to wash your mouth out with ice cream. Is there anyone here from Massachusetts? Oh, 
Oh, well, we are glad you came, because you're our bread and butter. <laughs> How about Rhode Island? Yeah. Very good. Connecticut? Yeah. Nicely done. Let's see. How about Maine? Yeah. Outstanding. Vermont? Yeah. They finally showed up. <laughs> How about New Hampshire? His name. We're working on a problem solving exercise. <laughs> up there is the prize. She's not tall enough to reach it. So she has to manipulate a few items. First the barrel. Still not tall enough. Then comes the box. She has to place it just so. Perfectly done. Up she goes. And the prize is hers. That is a classic. Now, down off of there and right into her custom built chariot. Oh uh, yes, she loves to ride in this rig. I call this one Riding Miss Daisy. Well, folks, what do you think of our little friend here? I'm uh, real proud of her. And that, my friends, is the Bear Show, the very best we can do. We hope you enjoyed it. One thing for certain, bears have a good time. Now, before I let you go, next up on the schedule, the train ride. Make your way up to the railroad station and climb aboard. We will bring you back in time for the end on Chinese acrobats. Here at the ring at 12 o'clock. And finally, I want to thank you all.